These are clippings from Curls Queen, so let's get into how I installed them. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm just here, Brianne. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. While I have you, go ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and make sure that you turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video from me. Y'all already know I am your DIY queen. I teach y'all how to be a baddie on a budget, which is exactly what we're getting into today with some clip-ins, all right? Baby, if the clip-ins ain't from Curls Queen, then I don't want them, okay? I love Curls Queen down. Thank you to them for sponsoring today's video. Love how every time Curls Queen sends me a package, they send me a new bonnet. It's reversible inside and out. Um, this is the best bonnet I've ever had because it has the elastic string that you can tighten to your head. They always send me over a brand new brush. Love these down. And then the clippings are just always beautifully packaged so they come in this little dust baggie it says curls queen and they're all packaged together perfectly and i believe this is their 20 inch light yaki texture in the style straight the hair is super thick all the way down to the ends which is what i really appreciate like look at that you ain't never have a bundle that's as thick as this honey um and the luster on the hair is just beautiful. This really gives my texture to the T. The last so I'm about to get these open. Of course, I will have all the links for you guys down below. If I have a discount code, I will put that for you guys on the screen. So here is a close-up of the clip-ins. If you are new to clip-ins, Curls Queen makes the most seamless clip-ins I've ever seen in my life. They are undetectable when you are wearing them. They're super easy to blend with your natural hair, regardless of your hair texture or the thickness or thinness of your hair. It's just super easy to blend them in. The clips are extremely durable, so you don't have to worry about them sliding out of your head. Um, I've never lost a clip-in, okay? don't you don't even have to worry about that they are also extremely thin i don't know if you can tell but wearing clip-ins is the way to go if you don't like to lay your lace down you don't like wigs you don't like sew-ins you don't want to dedicate yourself to a style like that clip-ins are perfect you can put them in before you leave out or you can take them out before you go to sleep love that so i'm all sectioned out for my first clip-in i left a little bit of hair out at the nape of my head hopefully you can see okay and this is the size of the first clip in that i'm going to install it's a two clip clip in all you got to do is pop her open you're going to attach the clips at the very root of your head make sure that you don't put it too close to your scalp because that will cause a little bit of tension and we don't want that this is a protective style so we want to make sure that we actually protecting our hair so yeah, go ahead and clip it down at the root, not too close to the scalp. Clip them down, comb it through, and you're done. I also love this texture. I like this texture more than the kinky one because I don't have to go in and actually straighten her out. She's already super straight. Like it's, I just know what's going to match with my hair really, really good. And let's talk about how long this is. For this hair to be 20 inches, this is extremely long. So very, very true to length. Also love that when you're doing clip-ins, your part doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. So, yep, all I'm gonna do is clip the hair to the root. I pull it down a little bit so it's not too close to my scalp. And then I clip down. These clips are also super durable. You will be able to hear and feel when the clip is securing to your head. If you have troubles with parting your hair, I'll always stand in between two mirrors to help me out. Moving on to the three piece. They also give you a really good variety of sizes within the pack. So um, I had one person ask me how many packs did they send me. This is one pack. You're going to see how much hair is within one single bundle, if you will. So boom, here's my next part. When it comes to the three pieces and up, I always like to clip the middle end first. And then I go into the other side and then do the other side. So I always like to do the middle first to make sure it's secure. It's the easiest thing ever. Like this takes no time, no effort, no skill for real, for real. 
Now, since I don't want too many clip-ins in my head, I'm going to now go over my ear. Because I know placement is really important to you guys as well. I think the longest clip-in they sent me is a clip of five. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure that to see. Yep, it's a perfect fit. That is another tip I realized. You don't want the clips to be open prior to clipping them down because they will snag onto your hair and that can get super uncomfortable um, during the install process. So I don't open them until I know for sure I'm about to clip that one down. Boom. All right, let's pause comb her all together so we can see how she's looking so far this looks like the beginning of a sewing like it's so seamless now for me personally the density of my hair right here tends to be a little thinner around like where people would recede at you know that little area so right here i'm probably just going to follow this same exact part right above my ear but I'm going to put a two-piecer right here because we want to fill in this area all right and do not I repeat do not put these clips anywhere near close to your edges okay now I'm going to repeat the same thing on this side it's so easy you probably could get your boyfriend to do this hairstyle for you like <laughs> Y'all know men don't be knowing how to do nothing. They could definitely do this because it's just so stinking easy. My boyfriend has actually taken out my clippings on a drunken night before. So yeah, I know they can do this. Now I'm gonna come to the top of my head. I wanna make sure that I'm not gonna have any lumps in my hair. So I like to pull all of my hair down and then just add the clips where it need be. It's so easy, you can do it one hand, I'm crying. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you like to use all the hair that they um, provide you with. So, I'm about to show you guys a little trick right now as I am putting down this last clip. Because as you can tell, this is, not a this is not enough hair to go all the way around, right? I have this big chunk. They send you over about three maybe four of the two-piece clips so i just like to finish my row off with a two-piece and just line her up i don't know if you guys can see but i just line her up with the clip that i was working on to fill in that gap And now it goes all around the head perfectly. Uh, it feels so good knowing that you are on your last row. Even though this took no time to do, I think it took me 19 minutes so far to install these. Okay, gonna comb that through and then try my best to find my middle part again. Also, if you ever run out of space towards the back of your head, you can kind of like crisscross them into the hair, if that makes sense. Um, Cause I think I have a little head. <laughs> so that has been one of my tricks as well. Now, this hair is a little bit darker than my hair. I don't think you guys can tell on camera but um i can definitely see where my hair stops it's a it's a very obvious because my hair is a little bit lighter than it let me show you guys the actual length this is how long they are and i just got these hair cutting shears from amazon i can link them down in the description box below because i love these okay they'll be linked on my amazon storefront i think i'm gonna start here and go down And I'm just gonna cut, but I'm like slowly bringing my shears down. All right, so are they both even? Not at all. Is it the best cut? Not at all. So this is what it's giving from the back. 
Okay guys, so off camera, I went ahead and put in some really pretty juicy curls just so we can really see how well the hair responds to heat. When it comes to straightening it, we know it can get straight, but can it get curly? And it definitely can. Um, I left one piece of hair right here to show you guys exactly how I did it in case you want to replicate it at home. I did these with flat irons. Um, I cannot find my one curl to save my life. But when it went ahead and my same flat irons that I used earlier to straighten the hair. And what I did was put the flat iron behind the hair. And then I wrapped my hair in between the two plates like so. And then I pull it down and it's gonna create this really, really pretty curl. This hair curls up gorgeously. Also, another thing I did is, um, as you can tell, you don't see that line of demarcation anymore with my natural hair. I went ahead and pulled my last clipping up just a little higher so it can have more of my hair so it can blend a little bit more seamlessly. That's another trick that you can do when blending your clippings but y'all these curls are to that for okay i can't wait until they kind of like fall a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and touch up my edges so yeah guys remember that everything you need in terms of getting this hair should be linked in the description box down below for you guys i'll have the direct link i believe i put my coupon code on the screen already so you guys can save money at checkout so we can be some fly baddies on our budgets together. This eats down. It looks so stinking good. So yeah, you guys, that really wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please be sure to give me a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, mamas. Mm. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me. Tell me you'll never wanna lose me.